We called the hogs and turned the damn jukebox on. Well, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. And luckily for the Razorback fans, the Hawks, they pull away with a 38-17 win over the Rice Owls in the opening week of football season. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Welcome on into Razorback Stadium. He's Nick Walters. I'm Troy Lynch. Like I already said, 38-17. However, going into halftime, I think every Hog fan was disappointed. The score was 10-7. to The Hogs, they didn't look good, Nick. It was rough. And there was even some booing going on as yep. they entered the halftime locker room. But I'll tell you what, Troy, it's not about if you get knocked down. It's about if you get up. And the Razorbacks certainly did that with a 31-point run in that second half after the Rice Owls scored first. A very, very impressive showing by the Razorbacks in that second half. First half, not so much, but as the player said, they're going to clean up those issues. Yeah, even though the Razorbacks had 19 returning starters on this roster, they were still pretty nervous coming into the game. That's what head coach Sam Pittman told us after the game. I think the crowd, we didn't have it. You know, we did, but we didn't. You know what I mean? And I think that would affect anybody. Certainly, I think all of us would have a little bit of nerves going into that game, and I'm so glad that we won. My first two start came on the road, so being here, the atmosphere, the uh, crowd, all that, it kind of played a part in it. And when you talk about the rough first half, you also have to mention K.J. Jefferson, the starting quarterback. He only had 21 passing yards in the first half, and that's not something you want to see from your quarterback. But overall, he really picked things up in the second. He did. K.J. said after the game that it was his first time ever running through the A as the starter, his first ever home start, and those nerves got to him. But in that second half, he got regathered and really showed out two rushing touchdowns on the game, including a passing touchdown, playing ball like we know we all can. Yeah, K.J. also said that after he gets a couple of big runs, he had over 50 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns today. After he does something like that, really opens up his play passing wise. Me running, it brings the defense down, brings the corner down. That way we can just run our offense back RPOs and throw over top and be aggressive. The defense, pretty solid. They gave up 10 points in the first half. Second half, only seven. However, that was a busted play. It did not look good, but overall, they were pretty solid, especially Jalen Catalan. Especially Jalen Catalan, like you said, picking up where he left off as an All-American. Two interceptions for this game, both of which looked like it could have gone all the way <laughs> yeah. back for pick six. We know he thought both of them were going to go back, but at the end of the day, hey, like we said, 31 points unanswered. That doesn't happen unless you have some impressive defensive play. Catalan had two out of the three Razorback interceptions today, and we asked him about how he thought the defense played overall today. Nobody got down. Nobody was pointing fingers. We all came together and said we're going to be a unit, and we're going. It's, if you're struggling, we're struggling. We're going to help you through it. And we made the stops, and the offense finally got the juice going. And then you saw what happened. So I'm just proud of the offense for um, handling the adversity pretty well. All right. So week one ends with a win. It might not have been pretty, but now. The Hogs move on to Texas. I know that's a game close to your heart. Nick. It is as an alum. <laughs> it's going to mean a whole lot. I'm going to be here, and I might have to wear some Texas socks or something. I'm no. just kidding. Go Hogs. Go Hogs. Go Hogs. That's, well, that's you were preaching to the wrong <laughs> audience there, Nick. But believe me, I'm all Hog. I bleed red right now, mm. not burn orange. So, yeah, I'll be here. It'll be fun. And the Razorbacks look up to the test, or at least they did in the second half. But at the first half, Razorbacks show up against Texas. It's going to be ugly. Arkansas definitely needs to fix some things before that big Texas game there. So, besides giving up 17 points, the defense actually played pretty well and it was pretty surprising because they had to have some players step up because they were without two of their main tacklers for a decent portion of the game in the first quarter. Grant Morgan, the captain, he led the team in tackles last season and he was an All-American. He got called for targeting, so he was out the entire game. However, we will see him next week, but we will not see in the first half against Texas Bumper Poole, who actually led the team in tackles with 14 at the time. He got called for targeting in the second half, so that was a uh, rough go for the Razorbacks there. It was, and there's not a lot of things that the Razorbacks are going to be that happy about with this win. It is against Rice. They were down at halftime. They fell down by two, by 10 points. They lost two linebackers in the middle of it. Yep. But at the end of the day, the atmosphere here at Razorback Stadium was some of the best we've seen in the last two years. It was limited capacity last year, and it worked in the favor of these Hogs because these players say that the crowd cheering them on yep. made a big difference in the game. There are over 64,000 fans here at Razorback Stadium. You can only bet that there's going to be more when Texas comes to town oh, yeah. next week. So that is going to be a lot of fun. But before we let you go, 38-17, once again, that's the final score, Arkansas over Rice. But tomorrow on the final score, we're also going to talk about the other college football teams we have in the natural state. We got that big A-State UCA game going on, and of course, UAPB, mm -hmm. they had their season opener too. So make sure you tune in tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, on the final score for all of the college football Arkansas action. 100%. And by the way, Troy, just
just a quick compliment. Those highlights look pretty good, don't they? I wonder who shot them. Must be a pretty talented guy. We're gonna end it. We're gonna end it like that, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Nick <laughs> shot them. They did look good, right? They did look good. You can be the judge. All right. Well, guys, we got more news coming up right after this. Stick around.